Okay, this is a little tutorial on a uh, design for rock wrapping. And we're going to start out on the back side uh, and make just a little short loop that I'm, I'm going to refer to as a neck. And then I'm going to go straight across on the back and with the end of my cane, which is kind of long, I'm going to feed it through the top and to the right. Oops. Sorry. I'll try to keep it still. To the right. This is going to create the right leg of the design and it's just a little twisted so I'm gonna untwist it here okay this is the right leg right here and then we're gonna loop over crisscross maybe is a better way to describe it and this is basically going to be the path you'll follow. So when you turn it over to the back, you've got this loose um, strand here, and we're going to grab it. It was twisted. Actually, because the neck is going to be worked to the outside, I want to make sure this goes outside the previous row, and we'll feed this through the little eye of the loop. I need some scissors so I can cut this little point off. Thank you. Make a little easier, easier point to get it through. There we go. So you're just going to feed it through that little sort of eye of the needle. And we're going to untwist it and we're going to continue following the path of the little the little neck part and it's outside on the top outside we're going to crisscross in the back and we'll have these two bands that we'll be working on okay now we're on the inside of these legs and when you come in here you're going to feed down through that upper loop like so Make sure everything's untwisted if you can when you get close so that a nice little there we go then we're going to cross over again like we did on the first row. We're going to flip it over and we're going toward the outside again by crossing at the midsection on the back. And we're going to feed it through that little eye again and work on the upper loop or the neck. Just following those, that loop above that we created at the very beginning. I'm not doing a very good job of feeding this through because I'm trying to speed up a little bit here. But follow that loop. You're all, everything's on the outside. Okay, a little bit of a twist there. Cross it over on the back. Now we're on the inside again for the legs. And then we're gonna come back up this way. I'm doing this just a little bit looser than I should, I can tell, but you get the idea. Okay, and then we're going to feed through this way. I have about a little over three yards for this rock. The rock's probably about, what, four inches long and maybe three inches wide. Uh, and I think I'm going to have a whole lot more than I need, just to give you an idea. Okay, I wish that was a little bit tighter, but we can kind of tweak it 
Okay, still on the inside of the legs, but when I come across here, cross over. Now we're on the outside of the neck section. So it's outside on the bottom. Right. Inside. No, no outside on the top. Outside on the top. Yeah. Inside on the bottom. Right. Sorry. That's okay. Outside. Well, I don't want to get the people who are watching this. I don't yeah. want to get them confused. Outside on the... The legs go in inward and the neck goes outward. Yeah. Just follow this. Just follow it again. And eventually these legs are gonna close in. In fact, I think we probably have maybe one or two more pass-throughs and we'll be finished with this design. Okay, I think I'm going to stop it there. Okay. So you keep on and then we'll show the finish. Okay. Okay.